Oh, look at this! Level 7 proficiency with foraging. And now we can make a warp totem mountains that takes us up to the mountains. If that's a shortcut to the mines, that could be amazing. What do we make overnight? 1,300 from just a little bit of cheese and some mayonnaise. That's a pretty good result. And that brings us up to... No, it doesn't actually. We're nowhere near what we're going to need to upgrade our pickaxe. And that could be a problem. We're going to need to make some gold pretty pronto. What can we sell? Oh, wait. Let's check the channels first. Cloudy gusts of wind tomorrow. That sucks. Winter's coming soon. That means your farming operations will be coming to a halt. No crops grow in the winter. Unless you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse. But there's still plenty more to do. Okay, good. Yeah, so no crops over the winter. Got to prepare for our... Oh, whoa, hello. Pumpkin City. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Inventory full? Oh, no. Well, okay. Um, let's go and put some stuff down. Whoa, hang on a sec. We, we saved 53 wheat. Maybe I should sell that. That's a good way to make quick cash. Well, let's gather up our crops first. We've got some mayo over here. Yum, yum, yum. Got an iron bar there. Oh, we're going to fill Jake's water bowl because, you know, he's a good chap. Glug, 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 and we'll give him a bit of a pat. Oh, didn't mean to water him. Sorry, Jake. Let's go down and gather up some more of these crops. And now, some of them haven't grown yet. I'm not sure if they will with the remaining time this month. But you know what? We should uh, we should still go and do the thing. We should still water them in case they do. All of the pumpkins have grown, though. That is excellent news. And I think these things are going to sell for a pretty penny. And sunflowers, too, which means we're going to be well-stocked for keeping old Haley happy and showered in gifts. Right, that's it. The trees are coming along, actually. These are actually slowly sprouting up. We've got some saplings here. They weren't saplings before. Oh, yeah, it looks like some of the fence is still decaying. But we can repair that. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I'll have to fix that with my axe when I get it. All right, let's go and milk the cows. And take care of the chickens. Oh, these guys are getting super happy, actually. I don't know if that's because the heater's in here. But... We're going to get loads and loads of large milk. And I think large milk makes better cheese. Which is great news for us. Down goes the hay. And now let's do the same for the chickens. Oh, lots of eggs. Eat the egg. No, thank you. Oh, I can't. I've got no space. Oh, what can I trash? Sunflower seeds are quite expensive, I think. Hmm. Let's trash the stone. I've only got, f only got four. But these big eggs, I haven't got space for those either. Damn it. Well, I'm going to go and put them in the mayonnaise machine. Sure. In it goes, and the brown one, in you go too. What we'll do is we'll leave the prized pumpkins here. And head on down to grab up the other animal produce. Now, we're not letting the animals out yet still, but the grass is growing back quite quickly with them not chewing on it. And it's okay because these suckers absolutely love to bits hay. So we can keep their pens well stocked with that. Let's go and pat these suckers. How's it going? Kylo Hen and Pecky Mitchell. All right, well, what now? The crops are watered, what's left of them at least. It's coming up to winter, so it's good that we haven't got anything down and planted. We can toss another copper in there, for sure. But let's quickly go and sell what we've got. So we're going to sell these pumpkins. Absolutely. We're going to... Deposit the coal and the copper. Well, we'll keep the coal, actually, because that might come in handy. Deposit these seeds and... We could probably sell the rest of our sunflowers because we've got 19. That should keep us well stocked for keeping Haley happy. Uh, but what else? Oh, we might need copper bars for the tool that we're going to make. 10. Wait, are we going to make... Are we gonna, yeah, we're going to make a copper pickaxe. It's up from its base one. 
So what else do I want? Let's take the geodes, because I think Clint can open those up, find out what's inside. And you know what? Let's sell some wheat as well. I know we need to keep 10 wheat for a quest. We'll sell the mayo. We are going to drop the eggs off. We're going to sell two grape jelly. And what else are we going to sell, guys? Uh, let's sell the good wheat. There we go. Selling this sucker. Okay, let's get to town and, uh, and sell some stuff to Pierre. Now, we're not putting it in the chest at our base, at our farm. Because if we put it in there, we, we won't see the money until tomorrow. And we need to see the gold today so that we can afford to pay Clint to upgrade our pickaxe. Now, what's the daily quest of Pierre's? I have a craving for a small mouth bass. Well, I don't really care about that, my friend. Hello, oh, bonjour, Monsieur Pierre. What are you selling today? Now, we wanted to look at trees. So he sells apple trees, pomegranate trees, peach, orange, apricot, and cherry. Uh, we, we found a cherry inside our cave, but an apple sapling, that would be great. I really want to have a big orchard on my farm. I think what I'll do is along the bottom of the farm is going to be the orchard. And we'll have a couple of apple saplings, a couple of pomegranates, peach, orange. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good. Now, flooring decorates the floor of one room. Ooh, now that sounds fancy. Whoa, six pumpkins, 2,400 gold. You've got to be, you got to be crazy. So how much are six good ones going to sell for? Whoa, 2,880. Now, there is a quality crops quest that we're going to look at first, because I think it might need pumpkins for that. Yeah, it does. Five of those suckers. So, we're not going to sell the quality ones just yet. We could sell one, which we might do. Alright, what do you want for the wheat? Now you see, the wheat doesn't sell very well. So, we're just going to get rid of it. 5,000 gold's all we need. Whoa, it's 19 pumpkins for six grand. Holy moly, 11k. This is this is more than more than we need to uh, upgrade our thing. And the grape jelly, might as well get rid of that as well. And the mayo, of course. There we go, 12k. We are rolling in cashola. So I tell you what, let's uh, let's buy let's buy some flooring for our kitchen because why not? I think I, I don't think it's one square because it says of one room. And we can decorate the walls as well. So we'll get some wallpaper as well. Now what's vinegar used for cooking? Oil, rice, wheat flour, sugar, grass starters. Place this on your farm to start a new patch of grass. Grape starter. Plant these in the fall, take 10 days. Amaranth seeds. Plant in the fall, seven days. We should have grown some fairy seeds. What the hell are they? To produce a mysterious flower, assorted colors. Damn, we should have definitely grown some amaranth because we have a quest to do that. But never mind. No use crying over spilt milk. Let's go and see Pierre. No, not Pierre. What's his name? Clint. Got to go and see Clint. Let's go and see Clint. All right. There's the Jojo Mart. Ugh, horrible place. All their food is fake and processed. No good for you. Oh, hello, Clint. How's it going? Yes, that's it. The steel axe. Woohoo! You received a steel axe. Let's upgrade my experience, shall we? Bam. All right, Clint, I've got a few things for you to do. Process a geode, please. 25 gold per geode. That's not that bad at all, really, is it? What's in... What's... What's that? Sandstone. And Gunther can tell us about that. And 10 coal! Holy moly, that is the mother load. All right, well, I've got another job for you. We're going to make a copper pickaxe, my friend. Five copper bars and 2,000 gold. Got both of those. A steel watering can. Man, I wonder what a steel watering can could do. A golden axe! That sounds crazy. Let's get... a copper pickaxe, though. That's the big one for us. Then we can start breaking some of the bigger rocks on our land. Right, so we've got something to take to Gunter, so let's go and do that. I should have picked up the spoon as well, because we, he wanted a spoon, I'm pretty sure. What up, mon frere? Donate to museum. And we're going to put the sandstone. Yeah, I've already got a spoon, so I'm not sure what that is then. There we go. Enjoy, my friend. 
Now what's this? There's another book that we can read. Let's take a look. Secret of the Star Drop. Thousands of years, people have been intrigued by the mysterious powers of the Star Drop. But no one knows where they come from. What is a Star Drop? That could be what's inside of the meteorite on our farm. But I think we need a better pickaxe than copper to break through that. I think we might need steel. We've discovered traces of genetic material on meteorites. Yeah, definitely. We can find a star drop in there then. Regardless of where they come from, the peculiar fruit is said to be uncommonly delicious. And some say they grant special powers. No way. That sounds pretty cool. All right, well, let's get out of Dodge. It's 12 p.m. Um, so what else is there to do today? I don't know. We can try the uh, the flooring. I want to see what the flooring and the wallpaper does for our house. Relationships-wise, we've given a lot of gifts out this week. So that's okay. I feel like we might as well start doing that with the things that we forage. Because people don't re- you know, we don't really get much money for having them. But over time, we're going to gradually build up friendships. In fact, here's a friendship right here. Let's give this woman a nice sunflower. Come here. Ah, oh, it's Penny. What a- what a doll. What a dame. What a good time gal. Should we give something to... No, let's not give anything to Lewis. Or can we? We can. Oh, wow. Yeah, he liked it as well. I, th I think everybody likes sunflowers, eh? Everybody likes a bit of sunflower in their life. Now, we've got cash to splash. And I did mention that I wanted to get some trees. So let's make an investment. I'm not sure if planting them in the winter is a good idea, though. So we might wait until spring. Right, so I definitely, I know I've got a quest for an apple tree. So bam, just bought one of those. Hope it was worth it. Apricots are cheap, but I think I might, ah, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna, the apple sapling was expensive, 4,000 gold for a sapling. But I think it starts as a sapling and not a seed, so it should grow quite quick. I, again, am gonna check the wiki to find out what an apple sapling does. So the apple tree is a type of fruit tree in Stardew Valley, it takes 28 days to grow to maturity, after which it will produce one apple every day during the fall. Oh, okay. It can only grow in the center of a 3x3 three three square. Fruit trees produce higher quality fruit as they age. Wow, okay. Once per year, up to gold star. Nice, so at the end of the first year they start making silver, and at the end of the second year they start making gold. Cool. Alright, well let's get this planted. It was an expensive, uh, expensive buy. And they only produce fruit during the fall. So it's not going to be until next year that I actually reap the benefits from this. Okay, let's find a place for our apple saplings. Now, I mentioned this was going to be our orchard. We've got all the trees over here. But I also want to put trees... Oh, do I? Because this could be a good crop zone. Imagine this, all these crops. Yeah, I definitely want to keep crops over here. That means this area down here is trees. Or is it? It's a bit too close to the pond. Maybe if... Oh, I don't... I just don't know. Tell you what, guys. Let's give our new axe a swing. Wait. There it is. Whew, I got worried there because... Wait, I'm missing something. Oh, it's the pickaxe. Whew. Of course, yeah, it's getting upgraded. Let's chop down this tree log. Bam! Look at that. Loads of hardwood from that. Excellent. And now we can start actually making things out of wood again, which is going to be good. So where do I want the apple tree? Um, these trees are kind of specialty. So maybe um, maybe down here is actually a good place. I don't have my pickaxe, so I can't break these pieces of stone yet. But if I plan it out, I can work out where things are going to be. So one, two, three. One, two. Two, so it's going to be there that we put the apple tree. So let's plant the apple sapling right here. Plonk, there it goes. So this will get, this is going to grow. We've got room to put another tree over here. This is going to be great. I can't wait. Right, so let's start trimming up this fence because, oh, it's looking so messy. So many bits of it were broken. We accidentally put a new fence post down here. Oh, it's so good to have my axe back. Ah, so that's why the fence broke, because the gate next to it, the gate broke because the fence next to it was broken. I see now, that makes a lot more sense. Let's make some cheese. 
Oh, I love making a bit of cheese. Here we go. Again, I, 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 there's so much energy I could have used. But I tell you what, now that we've got our axe back, let's spend some of this energy just chopping down trees. Because I needed wood for something. That's right, I wanted to make more chests. A chest is 50 wood. So let's go, let's gather up. So I can put some a chest next to the preserves jars for jellies. And I can also put a chest next to the mayonnaise machines for eggs. And you know what, I can even put a chest next to the cheese machines to put milk in. It's going to be a solution for everything on this farm. Although if I was smart, I would be putting tree taps on these big oak trees. Now these oak trees would, but we're not getting any seeds, so I don't know. Don't know how you plant an oak tree. Oh, an acorn, of course, that makes sense. Inventory's full though, so I can't pick that up. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go and put down some stuff first. Well, let's craft. We've got enough wood now to craft one chest at least. Oh god, but where am I going to put that? Well, we can trash seven wood. That's fine. Right, so we're eventually going to have, I think, four mayonnaise machines because we have four chickens. So we'll put the chest there to leave space. And I can put inside there all of my eggs. Fantastic. Let's go and put down this wallpaper and flooring. See how it works. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. We've already got flooring in the kitchen. Maybe we can change the wallpaper then in the bedroom. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Perfect decor for a nighttime room. Oh, just got dark outside. So I could make this all the same flooring as the kitchen. But I don't think I want to because I didn't know the kitchen already had this flooring. Let's get out of here. Okay, now it's getting late, 7 p.m. Uh, all the crops are watered, I believe. Yep. So I think what I'm probably going to do is just use my axe to chop down as much wood as I possibly can. Oh, and uh, let's say... This chest over here is for gifts. So we can put the sunflowers in there. Oh, wait, guys, wait, no, do you know what? There is a secret place out in the woods where you can actually use your steel axe to break through a log. Oh, it's 9 p.m., so it's getting a bit late, but I'm so desperate to see this. I've got to go and do it right now. I just remembered about this. Oh, my God. Of course, that's why I was gathering. So where is it? I think it's down here somewhere. Yeah, let's go check it out. It's night time, but it's a bit dangerous, but that's fine. Oh, it's a good thing we came this way, actually, because there's a whole bunch of foraging things we haven't even bothered with. Right, here we go. This is it. This is the log, the mysterious log that we couldn't get through. Well, now we can. Let's find out what's through here. Oh, exciting. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. How much health do you have? And are you a bad guy? Got you pinned. Got you pinned. Slice and dice. Where's he gone? Oh. Ow! Oh, wait. So he dropped some magical jelly. Winter root. A starchy tuber. No way. And what's the jelly? Is that just regular slime jelly? Yeah, regular slime jelly, which we don't really need. Can I chop down this? Yes. Ka-ching. And what's that? A toadstool. Man, this is pretty cool. Now I'm just going to dodge these slimes and have a bit of an exploration around here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no way. It's 10.30 p.m. I really should go home. But what is this? Old Master Cannoli. Still searching for the sweetest taste. So I guess if we can give this guy a really sweet taste, he'll give us, he'll give us a really sweet gift. What else is around here? Uh, not much, but this, this is a pretty cool place. So why would I want to come here? I, is this wood renewable? Ah! Maybe it is. Oh. So we're getting hardwood from this. But these slimes are crazy. It's okay though, they don't do that much damage and provided I don't die. Oh, what's that? A big bird. Provided I don't die today, it should be fine. Let's trash the acorns and pick up one of these toadstools. 
This is oh a chanterelle. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this is like a mushroom forest where we can get chanterelles. How do I get down there though? Is there like a secret, sorry, path through the? Oh, there is. I didn't know you could go through there. It's getting super late, so I better be careful. Just gather up this last hardwood. Kaboink! Okay. Oh no, I'm going so slow! Time to get out of dodge. Whew! Let's get home before we pass out, because I think you do that at 1am. Oh, and it's a long way. I've only got 30 minutes. Dash, dash, dash. Come on, move it or lose it. 20 minutes. Shouldn't have bothered running up there. Oh, no! Dead end! Oh no, it's 1am! I think the limit is 2am, but I'm not sure. Go, 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 go! Come on! Whew, okay, we made it. Oh, let's have a good night's sleep, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Spirits E Festival. Take care.